I'm Rachel with the Nonprofit Toolbox, and we're here today at Boston Media Makers with Steve Garfield, the founder of Boston Media Makers, and also he's written a book about video. And um, because of Steve, I got this Kodak Z8, and I'm ex excited to play with it. But we wanted to ask Steve a little bit more about his book and what he thinks, how he thinks it could help nonprofits. So the book is Get Seen, and so what's in here is like over four years of knowledge that I've gathered myself on how to create video and put it on the web. I've been blogging about it for a really long time, so I've taken all the things that I've blogged about and used from experience, and I tell people in the book what kind of camera to use, what kind of lighting, and I see you have some lighting that I suggest right here, <laughs> nice little LED lights. They're so cool, convenient, small, um, sound, how to get good sound. And then once you get good sound, I talk about in here um, how to edit, where to put it online, and then how to get your video seen by using social networks. So there's a lot of different tips in here. Throughout the whole book, there's all tips. I had so many tips, I just sprinkled them throughout the whole book. I have to count them, actually. I was thinking I could do like a deck of cards with like all the tips, there's so many. <laughs> But they're really good. And then there's some people who don't want to be on camera. So I have a whole chapter about um, making videos without, like even without a video camera. So you can do mashups of other things. You can make videos out of photos really easily. So there's a lot of different ways you can do video and it doesn't even have to be necessarily like you on the camera if you don't want to. Do you know any nonprofits that have um used your experience to put up some good things? There is uh, one large nonprofit in Boston. They're called Third Sector New England. And they're a nonprofit that helps other nonprofits with their business. And they have a huge staff of people with expertise on running a nonprofit, accounting, um, operations, um, management, legal, all different kinds of things. So I went in there and I did little short interviews with maybe 30, 50 people that worked there and they told me different things about their area of expertise and shared their knowledge. And right now they're in the process of building out their website and it's going to be like a video encyclopedia or knowledge base of all of their knowledge. You'll be able to go to their website and click around and if you're interested in something like human resources you can click there and then the person in their organization that helps nonprofits with that will be there and they'll answer questions. So it's a whole video database of all their knowledge they're putting online through video. With the new tools of with video, um, is it easier now for nonprofits to put together a marketing plan to get donors and volunteers? Yeah, I, I think that you know, video used to be hard. When I first started in, in um, well, 2002 and then 2004, putting video on the web was hard. Now it's easy, and nonprofits have all the tools at their disposal, like with just a computer and a webcam, they can easily put videos like up on YouTube. It's so simple, and I think that part of putting video online is showing the personality or allowing people to see what your, let's say, nonprofit is all about. So one way a nonprofit could use video is to take a camera around the inside of the nonprofit and maybe do some interviews or just show the day-to-day -day what it is that the nonprofit does so people who might want to volunteer or contribute can just go on the website and see a video of, of what actually is happening at the nonprofit and that would um, give people a, you know, a closer sense of, of what they're donating money to or volunteering to. So I think it's a great way uh, for nonprofits to, to get people to learn more about them with video. So are there any good stories of um, how videos have gone viral, so to speak? I have a great story. <laughs> <laughs> I taught this seminar and was showing how people could take videos and then go to a site like CNN iReport. That's where you post your videos up on the CNN website. And I showed everybody how to do it. This one guy who was in the seminar was flying home and the plane had Wi-Fi access and he read that Obama was nominated for the Nobel Prize. 
So he was sitting by the window, and he held up his um, like little camera, like you have, the ZI-8, and he held it up to the, cam uh, to the window so he had good light on him, and he recorded, and he says, I'm at 30,000 feet, and I want to congratulate President Obama for being nominated for a, no for a Nobel Prize. And then he took the video, stuck it in his laptop, put it up on CNN iReport, which is just like a one-step process. You put the video on your computer, put it up on CNN iReport. Well, what happened was CNN iReport saw it, and then they put it on CNN, on TV. And he emailed me later and said, Steve, the first video I ever did, then the first time I ever put it on CNN iReport, got on CNN. And that was like his first video. And he'd never done one before, and he heard me you know, explain how it all worked. Now he's making all kinds of videos. So that is like a huge success story. And it just shows that like anybody, anybody can do it. Thanks. From anywhere, an airplane. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thank you.